This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com, ProBoxingSupplies.com, where you can receive 25% off your purchase now. Fight me, a fearless expression. What are you willing to fight for? And PowerPerformanceProducts.com, where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv. I'm here at Extreme Couture following another tough practice with Martin Hitman Camman. You got what might be the biggest fight of your career. Would you consider that against Jake Ellenberger next week at the tough finale? Yeah, the next fight is always the biggest fight. So this one, main event, and both me and Jake's in the top, you know, top of the division. So definitely big fight. Jake, you know, there's a lot of talk about Jake uh, being in the title hunt. You feel like you're right there as well, of course. You know, you had a big win over Tiago. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm beating some, some good guys. I've been in this division for a long time. I've fought the best guys. I'm, I want to fight for the title. I want to get the title shot. What does it show about the UFC putting you in a second main event here in a row? You know, you're headlining a card. That must make you feel pretty good knowing, you know, knowing that they, they recognize your, your skill set. Yeah, I mean, uh, they, they put, put me in the main event because they know I make good fights, you know, and uh, it's an honor for, for me, to, for the UFC to put me in the main event, and um, I'm going to deliver. Do you feel like you're one of the more underrated guys still, though, that kind of sort of flies under the radar in the talk of things in the welterweight division? I feel I can beat the best guys in the division, and, and uh, that's what I'm going to do next next Friday on June 1st. I'm going to beat up the Ellenberger, and uh, then I'd love to beat up whoever got the title, whether it's Conor or GSP. He's a wrestler, but come along and he's striking a lot. So where do you feel like your biggest advantage lies against Jake? I feel I can fight, uh, fight him wherever the fight goes, you know, but I think definitely, uh, yeah, like you said, he's a real good wrestler. He's got a... Uh, Real heavy hands, you know, and he really commits hard to his punches. So, I think uh, that's uh, some of his uh, part of game where he's very, where he's very dangerous. He's, you know, he really commits hard to his shots and uh, you know throws everything into him. But uh, it's good. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I mean, we've you've shown that you're a guy who can who can take a lot of shots as well and and go a long time. I mean, you pulled out the fight against Thiago, of course, late in that fight. Great win for you. Do you feel like he faded against Diego Sanchez a little bit? You know, if that had been a five-round fight, some people speculated that he might have lost. Do you think that's a big advantage? Is the cardio and going deep? And this is going to be a five-round fight. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for five rounds. You know, I just uh, warm myself out going five rounds in there today. You know, and uh, I'm looking forward to easing it down a little bit and, and uh, get all the energy back and uh, and then uh, feel good come fight night. And um, I'll go five rounds, but uh, I'm not planning on. It. I'm here to finish the fight. You don't have to travel, get to sleep in your own bed. Last time you had to go around the world, that'll be a little nice difference, right? Yeah, I like that. You know, I, I love traveling, but I hate flying. So uh, being able to stay right here in Vegas, it's it's uh, it's great. All the fights you've had in the UFC, you, you've been, I mean, how many fights has it been now? I think 15, 15 fights. That's, that's, a, that's a good amount of fights. Yeah, it is. So what was the toughest fight, if you remember, in those 15 fights? Uh, I've had a lot of tough fights, but... Uh, I think uh, you know, I don't know. Me and Conor had a real tough fight. You know, I really had to dig deep in that fight because I got dead tired. But um, coming out that third round, I, I, I kind of got a, caught my second wind and, and got my energy level back. But uh, I think that was a real tough one. But I mean, I've had a lot, I've been in a lot of wars. So yeah. Do you think you're the toughest guy maybe in the welterweight division? You think that's a fair statement? I don't know. I'll leave that to everybody else to decide too. You know, but. Uh, I'm, 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 I come to fight, you know, that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to be one of the more well-rounded guys. I think when you go, up, when guys go up against you, they can't focus on any one area because you're good in all areas. I try to focus on everything, close my holes, and, 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 and be good at everything. You know, I feel very confident in my, my jiu-jitsu and my uh, wrestling and also my striking game. So wherever the fight goes, you know, I'm ready to fight. You know, I feel, I feel confident where the fight goes, and I feel I can – beat Jake Ellenberg in a lot of ways. I feel I have a lot of tools to beat him, and that's what I'm going to show. Who do you think won the fight between Koscheck and Hendricks? Uh, that was a real good fight, man. I, I really enjoyed that fight. Um, I don't know. I wasn't really sitting there scoring it. I was sitting there uh, enjoying the fights and uh, enjoying the company at the same time. So uh, I'd have to rewatch it to, to give you an honest uh, opinion of that. But I, I thought it, it was a good fight. Where do you see the welterweight division going? I mean, there's so much t tied up going on with GSP being injured and Condit having the bell. And then you've got Koscheck and Hendricks. You've got talk about them being the next title guy, uh, you know, next title shot. You and, and Jake, the next one. Where, where do you think you fit in and all that? 
I fit in the top. I want to fight the best guys. And uh, I'm fighting one of the best guys next Friday. And uh, when I beat him, I want to, I want to fight. I want to fight for the title. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, well, both you guys have a fight against Condit. And, and they were great fights. So do you think that then the winner of this fight should fight Condit for the interim belt? That's really up to, uh, you know, the situation with GSP, you know, I don't know when he's going to be ready. If Khan is waiting for him, that's that's uh, understandable, you know, they got to uh, put the belts together, you know. So I don't know when GSP comes back, it all depends on that, you know. Yeah. Well, I'd love to fight either GSP or, or Khan, of course, or the winner of that fight, you know, I'm, I'm ready to fight, I'd love to fight for a title. I know Jake's come out here some and worked at Drysdale's a little bit. Have you ever trained with him over there and rolled with him at all? No, he, he's been in here too, training at Couture's, but uh, that was actually right after my uh, Rick Story fight, I think, that he was here, and uh, I, I didn't get any training in with him, but uh, you know, I, lo I know a lot of the, the guys trained with him, and uh, you know, he's, he's been around. Anything else you want to say, Martin? Thanks to all the fans supporting me, and uh, thanks to the gym, Extreme Couture, and uh, check out my... Uh, a Twitter, at Martin Campman, website, martincampman.com, blah, 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 so on. <laughs> the same old. Martin Campman fighting June 1st against Jake Ellenberger, headlining the card at the tough finale. I'm Spencer Lazar. You're watching MMAinterviews.tv. Godspeed and party on.